What's up friends, Mike again, glad to have you guys back. Today we have a very special bag with me. This is the Nomadic Messenger bag. This is my go-to tech briefcase when I have a compact light camera setup and if I wanna bring a iPad and more kind of thing. So if you're into tech, organization, fashion style design, this is a bag that you do not want to ignore. So I've been using this bag for around a month now and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I carry in it that make it really functional for me and all the nifty features that quite possibly make this one of the coolest messenger bags on the market right now. So before we start, full disclosure to my audience, Nomadic did send this bag to me free of charge for me to use and review. But as always, everything that's said in this video is my opinion only. I didn't get paid to say anything good or bad about it. So without further ado, let's get into what's in my bag. So the first thing you'll notice about this bag is that it's black on black on black. It's very stealthy looking, very rugged, very military-esque. So it not only looks good, but it also serves a purpose. It's made of a very rubbery kind of material. And the thing I like about it when I go out, is I always set the bag on the floor like this, and sometimes the floor can be a bit nasty. So with this material, it's very easy to wipe off when you're at home. Just get a wet wipe or a Lysol wipe and wipe it, and it comes right off. And the other thing is that the bag is also very sturdy. It does keep its own shape very well. It's not gonna warp whether you put stuff in it or not. And uh, it stands on its own, so it doesn't go all like and gets the front all messed up. But even if you get dirt on it, again, the material is very easy to wipe off and easy to clean. The bag also has a lot of water resistant zippers on it. It's very high quality. I've been using the zippers like this the whole month. <laughs> and it's very smooth and I haven't been in the rain with it, but when I did my water pour test, the water slided down very easily and everything inside my bag was protected. So overall, the bag is built like a tank. It survived everything that I put it through and after a month of use, it still looks really new. But speaking of what's inside of the bag, the bag has four major zippers and with the first one being a quick access pockets to all your tech needs, which I keep a USB cable for charging my electronics, my power pack and my Apple mouse for my laptop. And then over here, I have my daily agenda over here from Muji, the 2020 red edition to be all organized and stuff. And then I have my Kindle over here. The other thing is that behind this larger pocket, there are also two zippers over here, one with an RFID safe pocket where I keep my passport. So there's literally a place for everything and uh, I can't even use all the pockets that are in here. And then for some reason, there is this extra pocket over here, which um, I don't know what it does. So you can put something flat inside, but this kind of shows you what kind of material that it uses to protect its layers. So to this day, it's still a mystery to me. And next, the zipper that we're gonna talk about is the one on top. It's a quick access pocket, which is lined with a fluffy material. So in here, I have my Galaxy Buds Plus, which keeps my case very protected and shiny and scratch free. And then I have my sunglasses, and then I have a battery for the camera that I have inside the bag. So it is a smaller pocket, but it's something that you can just open very quickly and not even look and grab what you need kind of thing. And then as for the main compartment over here, this is where all the good stuff is. So in this compartment, it actually gives you a slot over here that you can customize the folders so that you can put different size things in. And for myself, I like to put my camera in here. This is the Sony a6600. It's been my takeout camera because my EOS R is too big. And uh, by the way, if you do use the EOS R in here, it does take up two slots. So the a6600 fits perfectly in one. And then on the other side, I have the V mic D3 Pro from Deity. And then in the same compartment, I have my little tripod over here, which attaches to my camera. And then when I put my mic on here, I have my little vlogging setup that I can bring anywhere. And I really like this setup because it's very light and I can put it down anywhere and there's an adjustable ball head that I can move around. And overall, it's very compact and it does everything that I need it to. And also, this does make a decent camera bag because you can quick release it over here and then get quick access to your camera right in here and take a few pics. And then when you don't need it, put it back and 
there you go. I do have to say that these folders are a bit flimsy. So in the future, if they can make a camera case for this, specifically for cameras, I would love that. But anyways, in the last compartment, I have my Sennheiser Momentum 3s. This is an excellent pair of headphones. I usually use my Bose 700 when I'm in the office and editing, but those cannot fold. But with these, it can fold perfectly into the bag over here. So with these headphones, I actually don't use them that much. Usually I do use my True Wireless earbuds a lot more. This is just a backup for when I'm like video editing kind of thing. So the cool thing about this setup over here is that this compartment is actually removable. It's attached with Velcros on the back, so all you gotta do to take it out is just pull. Now the reason they have a feature like this is because they actually include another folder kind of thing so that you can just insert it like this and now you have even more organizational pockets than you used to have. So the nice thing about this is that it's more like a folder that you can put really flat things in like files or like paper or textbooks even because now you have a larger compartment over here. So if you're somebody who loves organization, there's a lot of pockets, like an overwhelming amount of pockets for everything that you need. So for myself, if I'm not bringing my camera, this is a setup that I would use. But instead of putting all my cables in everywhere, I actually use this low pro bag over here. It houses all my cables and all the stuff that I need, like power cords, power adapter, and even my SanDisk 500 gigabytes storage drive. This is really useful. I wish I could afford the two terabyte one, but the 500 gigabyte one does work really well. You can edit straight from this and uh, it's really compact. I really like it. So anyways, because I have a lot of bags, putting all your cables and accessories in a tiny bag is really useful because you can just move them from bag to bag without organizing everything in each little pocket kind of thing and taking them all out when you switch. So that's what I use. But moving on in this configuration, it does free up these two pockets on the side over here. You can put like a banana in it, a water bottle or whatever that you desire. It also comes with this sunglasses case, which is very strong and sturdy and you can stick it in here. This protects your sunglasses for extra protection. And the other thing is that it comes with this keychain holder over here. It actually has a strap inside to secure this so that when you need to, you can just take your keys out like that. And when you don't need it, it goes right back in. So I actually quite like this thing, but I would have liked it even more if I had somewhere to secure it on the outside because when you turn the bag over here, so it actually has these flaps on the side that can expand with this very stretchy material over here. So if I could secure this inside this pocket, that would be a lot more useful because it's very quick access. Because for myself, I actually put my hand sanitizer in here so that it's a lot more accessible than having to unzip my bag and touch everything inside before sanitizing my hands. And when I don't need it, I put it back in here. And the cool thing is that it has magnets on the side so it gives it a clean, kind of look when you don't need it out like this. So the shape kind of adapts to the way you use the bag, which is nice. And then the last thing about this compartment, there's also another pocket over here, which you can put your power bank and then it has a cable thread over here, which goes to the other side so you can charge your phone with. And then after the last compartment, it's actually a laptop compartment over here. So as you can see, it folds out like this. So it's very easy to go through the airport with something like this. On the outer pocket over here, I actually store my iPad in here with the, my Apple Pencil. I actually use my iPad more than my laptop. And when I'm going out, I always bring my iPad because I use the Notability app to write my notes on and it's like the best thing ever. Like it's almost better than paper because you can rearrange things here and there without erasing and it creates less mess and it kind of does everything. And then there's a laptop compartment on the back it's lined with a nice soft fleece material, so it's not gonna scratch your laptop. In my case, I use a 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2016. It's a beast, I can play games on it, I can edit on it, and it's awesome. So there's also a flap over here that like secures everything, but if you don't need it, you can just secure it to the inner lining and it's not gonna flange around everywhere, which I really like. And the last pocket over here is like this really thin one, it's for like your folders, or anything flat, magazines, 
and all that good stuff. Anyways, I haven't talked about the coolest part of the bag, which is its comfort. So this is really a make or break for any bag because if it's not comfortable on you, you're not gonna use it that much and it's gonna be a waste of money. But with this bag, it's quite different. And I say that because it uses this strap over here. It's very thick and very padded. Also, if you haven't noticed that it does use this like rotational system over here. And the magic part about it is that it actually detaches just like that. So it uses magnets to attach and detach so when you do want to attach it all you got to do is snap and uh, that's it so I really like this it's quite sturdy so even if you like do this it's not gonna come off the only way you can detach it is if you point it down at this diagonal angle and pull it's almost effortless it comes off very easily but again to attach it it's very nice so when the bag is on me it's quite comfortable the shoulder is again very padded there's no single point of pressure so even if i fully load my bag it's a lot more comfortable than the other bags i've tried but as always it is a mess in your bag having pressure on one shoulder will cause it like fatigue and that's just physics so for myself i do tend to switch shoulders and it's quite easy to do that because with this it also has a spring-loaded clamp over here so if i want to extend this strap and switch shoulders it's quite easy all i got to do is lift it and then pull it downwards and bada bing bada boom i've switched shoulders just like that or you can do what a normal human being does and just take the strap off you can also turn this into a hand carry brief and make it more simple and no dangling straps kind of thing and by the way the bag also features these cushions on the back over here they've been rubbing against my back for a whole month and they haven't shown any wear and tear yet so it's very high quality material so there's no question that you're paying for premium build quality over here the bag is quite expensive as well so uh, the price might justify it depending on how much you use it so by the way this is the version 2 the version 1 is actually on clearance for 50% off and um, I don't know what the difference is it might just be the front over here on version 1 it has all these patterns and stuff on it so that might be the only change but otherwise I think you get all the other features and all the other goodies so yeah guys if you're into messenger bags this is definitely one of the best out there in my opinion uh, the build quality is really impressive it's gonna last you a long time it's feature packed and for myself again I use this a lot if I'm only carrying a light camera setup and my iPad and if I'm traveling and I'm gonna put more in my bag I usually use a backpack so anyways I really hope you enjoyed this video I'm planning to make more what's in my bag videos in the future remember to like and subscribe with my post notifications on to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube and that's it for now guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the very next video bye